Hey, Mousy. This is my baby mouse. She's my baby mouse. She's my favorite kitty here. If anyone doesn't know that yet, it's Mouse, and that's her beautiful sister, Nina. Hi, Nina. Look at that fur. Look at that coat. Hi, Nina. And um, they are sisters. They're about two years old. They've been here for a year because they were so scared. When they first came in, they just huddled together in the cage. And then slowly but surely, they've come out of their shells. And now, as you can see, you can very easily pet Nina. Hey, look up. And my mousy, my mousy, I just love her. Um, they're gorgeous cat. She's a solid gray, very petite. If you see her in person, she kind of looks like she might be five or six months old. That's how little she is. She's a little baby girl. She is a little baby girl. Hello. Hello, baby girl. And um, as you see them now, they're really friendly and comfortable with me, but anyone who adopts them, they're going to be scared of you and shy at first. So you just have to work with them and it'll be kind of like a challenge to watch them blossom and come out of their shells. Um, they don't have to be adopted together. I mean, it'd be wonderful if you did, but they're not. They both hang out with other cats when they're here. Um, Mouse really loves Benny. He's a really handsome tabby boy. And he just kind of hangs out with anyone, but they hang out together too. It's but I know some people can't take two cats, so if you just want one of them, that would be fine. Um, they both, especially Mouse, love other cats. They get along with any cat that comes through here. And being they've been here for so long, they've seen a lot of cats. So, really hoping the adoption fee has been waived on both of these. Just because we want to find them a loving home. And we know it's a challenge because even though you see them in this video acting really sweet and friendly with me, they are afraid of strangers so but as you can see they will they can be friendly and loving they're just wonderful cats i think it'd be a wonderful challenge i go for the shy cats because i like to bring them out of their shells and i love to watch them blossom i mean to me it's just so much fun i mean look how sweet they are and they're quiet well behaved they use the litter box they use the scratching posts i mean they're not problem cats at all so we need a nice quiet home um, I would say no dogs, um, unless you have a really mellow dog that's used to cats. A uh, nice, quiet home, give them a little room to themselves, and just take your time with them, and I think they'll be fine. Bye-bye. She's purring.